Hello, sir. Hello. Your name is? My name is Jimmy. I am... I what are you here. doing here, Jimmy? Well, I am the new uh, co-host on uh, Nuclear Nerds Now. So, I'm doing co-hosty things. I'm taking time out of my busy schedule to talk to you people. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, give us a little uh, insight on what you're here for. Well, Camera. I'm pretty nerdy, you know. Play Pokemon even now. Uh, Dragon Ball Z is totally cool. Uh, but yeah, I just uh, I, I want to do stuff on YouTube. I want to get people's attention and get stuff going on and um, be rich and famous and influence the world. That's my thing. And who are you? Uh, Jimmy, musician, actor, inventor. Porn star. Cover the whole gambit. Yeah. I do a little bit of everything. <laughs> and do you see yourself getting really big on YouTube? Um, eventually, yeah. Um, I don't assume right away, but I'd, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to eventually become a big time deal in the YouTube scene <laughs> and all over. Uh, and give us an idea of what you're going to be bringing to the show. Craziness and stupidity and awesomeness and awesome sauce times twelve and did I already say stupidity? Yes. <laughs> you, so can, you can count that a couple times. Yeah, times two. <laughs> um and imagination. Alright, well what what kind of skills do you got? Like skill skills. Uh, well, I am crazy, crazy good at Krav Maga, and, um, I can go Super Saiyan. Uh, apart from that, um, really crazy creative, come up with things off the top of my head. Um, I've got a good ear for music, and I'm a decent actor, so I can do some acting stuff, too. Um, and I'm a pretty good writer, too, so, you know, the whole gambit of artistic stuff. Do you think you'll be a valuable asset to nuclear nerds now? No, I think they're going to fire me within the first week. Um, and I think it's going to end on really bad terms, like on the key people's cars, and poop in a bag, and just light on fire on Ricky's doorstep. Because they're going to find you playing with toys yeah. on the job. I don't play with toys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> uh, it's not like you were like watching YouTube videos on the job. No, no. I... I, I I have, I have work games. modes. Work or, mode. or reading comic books. Uh, yeah, I know, there was that one guy that would fire for reading comic books. I don't remember him. <laughs> that Chinese midget porn. Whatever. <laughs> don't judge me, okay? <laughs> and what are you into? Nerdy. Nerdy like. Oh my god. So much, dude. Like, okay. So you're into R2-D2. I love R2-D2. <laughs> Uh, he's definitely the main character of Star Wars. Everyone's like, oh no, it's, it's Luke, or it's Anakin. Dude, R2-D2. All the way. Have had an R2 been there since the beginning? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> R2's the oldest one. Obi-Wan. Whatever. Um, I like, like I said, dude, if I had a Game Boy, I'd be playing Pokemon right now. It'd be like, the interview, catching YouTube. You know? Um... I read comic books every now and again, but my my dark uh, my dark secret is I like to read uh, uh, anime manga stuff, and um, I'm into Dragon Ball Z, and I play D and D. And if you have a problem with that, if you're judging me sitting on your computer in your like room in your grandma's basement, and you're judging me, um, go die in a fire that I started. Yeah. So eh, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> You too much. <laughs> I'm still I'm still a huge nerd. I uh, have been ever since I was a a little bit taught, and uh, I don't think that's ever gonna change because all those things are way too fucking awesome. Oh, and uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. All I'm gonna say. Doctor just, Who. Just Doctor Who. Doctor. What is Doctor Who to you, Jim? Uh, the best thing ever. Uh, times a million, and yeah, totally cool. Doctor. Who wouldn't want to fly around in a police phone box through time and space, saving the universe a million and a half times? Like, really? Come on. 
And if you say you know, makes an interesting way. point. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic screwdriver. So you play D and T. D and D. D and D. Yes, D and T. D and T sometimes too, but it's a little bit more hardcore. <laughs> you play D and D. Roll to actually cut someone in half. You cut someone in half. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. <laughs> so, um, what are you in D and D? I am a level four Torin Druid. Oh, that's interesting. So. You're into D and D. A lot of people might think you're also a larpist. Are you a larpist? No. <laughs> Do you go larping? I, I, you know, okay. I'm gonna be dead honest with you guys. I, I'm gonna level with you. Don't you dare tell anybody. If yeah, this doesn't leave the room, goes up on the internet. But shh. <laughs> um, I tried it once, and like, this kid hit me in the face with a foam sword and like shattered my glasses, and I was just like, you know. This is not right for me. <laughs> I'd rather be lazy and sit in a chair and think of all this shit going on in my brain than actually have to do it. <laughs> so, I mean, okay, it's one thing to roll a dice to, like, lift up a sword that's three times bigger than you and lob it at, like, an orc. It's one thing to do it, you know, in your mind. It's another thing to do it in real life, you know, <laughs> with some big, fat, nerdy kid dressed up in, like, an orc costume and, like, orc, orc, I'm an orc. <laughs> So yeah, no LARPing for me. <laughs> Alright then. Alright. Well, well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Jimmy, and um, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hope to have a long and fruitful career with you people. For this whole week that you're going to be part of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, any questions for Jimmy, leave a comment and he'll answer your questions. Um, Most of them, if I like them. If I don't. Probably to the best of his ability, which is very slow. <laughs> <laughs> Not too intelligent. <laughs> Alright, so, thank you, Jimmy. Mm.